We know it can spread among humans from person to person, but is this frequent? Is it common? That's something we don't know quite yet. Wake up to this news. This has been one of the most horrible days of my life. I felt like I've lost a son. He's bigger than life. And Kobe's legacy, it will remain forever. Bryant's 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, was also among the nine people killed in the crash. I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody. Can I say, Mamba out. Public health officials say they were not caught off guard that a case of the novel coronavirus has surfaced in Santa Clara County. Since we are a large county and many of our residents travel frequently for business and personal reasons, we're not surprised to be announcing the first case in the Bay Area and in Northern California. Starting today, all inbound flights from China will be funneled into six U.S. airports. SeaTac, O'Hare, JFK, Honolulu, Atlanta, and of course, SFO. This is what we, we came down here for to, to, to win, and uh, we didn't get that done. So um, it's going to hurt for a little bit, but um, we we going to come back stronger for sure. The protesters say the impeachment process was one big cover up. Without witnesses, without testimony, without evidence, it wasn't a trial, really. It was a cover-up. Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency after a 71-year-old man died from the coronavirus in Placer County, the first such death in the state. Turns out the man had been on a cruise ship, the Grand Princess, last month. We have developed a plan which will be implemented this weekend to bring the ship into a non-commercial port. All passengers and crew will be tested for the coronavirus. Well, up to me, I would be inclined to say, leave everybody on the ship for a period of time and you use the ship as your base. Right now, we're standing outside Travis Air Force Base where a new group of people just arrived. We watched as two new buses of people were escorted into the base. Now, this is in addition to the already roughly 150 travelers that were brought here just last night. An unprecedented moment in modern Bay Area history, a region-wide order to shelter in place for people in multiple Bay Area counties. I think people are good with what's going on right now, at least for a while, two or three weeks, shut it down. Beyond that, all bets are off. Love letters to customers from heartbroken owners on day one of this great uncertainty. There will be no roar of Tiger at Harding Park. No bouncing of the basketball at Chase. And the sounds of spring have gone silent. Tokyo 2020 is now Tokyo 2021. Shelves usually filled with paper products remain empty and many stores continue to limit how much you can purchase. Imagine coming to work like you've done your entire career and suddenly one morning someone up and calls you the H word. And in a twist, the hospital staff themselves came out holding a sign saying, thank you for sharing the front lines with us. This grassroots neighborhood group travels to seniors' homes, calling out and waving to them, bringing sunshine into someone's life. Hi, so what do you do when kids can't go to school? Well, you bring the school to them. Someone crunched the students' home addresses and found an optimal seven-mile route going through the densest neighborhoods to maximize smiles and hope. When it comes to serving the community, there's nothing like a team that produces 300 meals a day led by a world-renowned three-star Michelin chef. People are having to come to us for the first time in their lives for help. They they were working before and now they're not working and they don't know when their next paycheck will be. These are hardworking people, Bay Area residents who are the fabric of our community who now have lost their jobs and are sort of feeling like there's no hope.
starting tomorrow, retail shops here in Burlingame and across most of Northern California are going to be able to reopen with some modifications. The death Monday of George Floyd at the knee of Minneapolis police officers is just the latest version of an all too familiar script for communities of color. I stand here in anger. I stand here in disappointment that in 2020 we're still here fighting for things we fought for 400 years ago. What did we want? Justice. What did we want? It? No. It's that crowd right there, okay? White America that makes a difference because it's starting to hit home to them. People started yelling at the officers, then objects began to fly. That's when police fired back with tear gas and rubber rounds. I am dispatching thousands and thousands of heavily armed soldiers, military personnel, and law enforcement officers to stop the rioting, looting, vandalism, assaults, and the wanton destruction of property. The eight o'clock curfew means you now have to go inside before the sun even sets. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You enjoy your cacao and almond butter roll. Thank you. So today is the first day of in-person outdoor dining in Santa Clara. And I got to say, it's nice, but a little weird. Tonight, the LGBTQ community is comforted to know that all 50 states are moving towards equality. Until today, only 22 states, including California, protected the rights of LGBTQ employees. It's been a miserable year, but this is a, a pretty great day. If you were planning to jet away from your house with a trip to Europe, think again. The European Union has barred U.S. citizens from entering due to rising coronavirus cases stateside. It's 5 a.m. and gyms in Santa Clara County have opened up for the first time in four months. The majority of the more than 6 million children who attend public schools in California will begin the school year with distance learning next month under the governor's new order. It puts this in the form of a mandate uh, in our public education system. The public school district superintendent, or in the case of a private institution, the head of school can make a waiver request for an elementary school to the local health director, even if the county is on the watch list. California just surpassed New York for the most number of confirmed cases, topping 409,000. It is just barely 8 o'clock out here on the western end of Vacaville. The smoke is so thick that the sun is just an orange dot in the sky. It's already warm, it's windy, and it's not looking good. As if the threat of a world pandemic wasn't enough to worry about, smoke from multiple fires adds yet another very hazy layer of concern over the Bay Area. It's not that the fires have been caused by climate change, it's that what we're experiencing is increasingly influenced by climate change. And that's the message. We can no longer talk about these things without talking about the role that humans are playing in making these problems worse. Fires are blazing so brightly, smoke reaching so far, NASA satellites can see them one million miles away in space. Mars, eat your heart out. It looks like hell. I would describe it looks like hell. Smoke high up in the atmosphere altered the sunlight and cast much of the Bay Area in a real life Instagram filter. The Bay Bridge, Koi Tower, and SFO. No matter where you look, the Bay Area is smothered in wildfire smoke. The smoke has drifted to the east, into Reno, Nevada, and beyond. This map shows where counties of the Bay Area stand under the state's new COVID-19 metric. After letting individual counties control reopenings, the state is keeping a tighter grip on things this time around with a color-coded system. We're starting to see an increase in COVID-19 cases all across the country. Governor Gavin Newsom raised the issue of a second wave of COVID-19 cases today. 
into the polls and watch very carefully. Last month, President Trump raised concerns that ballots could be manipulated. Hyped. Totally excited about it. Anxious? Frazzled. The uncertainty. I just don't know. But we, our votes will count. I don't think anyone should listen to the polls right now. It's a really unprecedented situation in our nation's history. Usually we have this huge surge right at the end. And we didn't get the surge. We got a drop off. That was one difference in 2020. The vote came in bulk in the first weeks of voting. For a lot of people this year, the priority was getting it done early. The past four days have turned into one very long Tuesday, with votes still being counted and eyes glazing over from nonstop doom scrolling on smartphones. Joe! Joe! Energy burned through the streets of the Castro in virtually every direction. Thousands danced from day to night, lighting up the district in costumes and with signs, chanting for the president and vice president-elect. Uh, this is just awesome. I, I've been like clenching my teeth and unhappy for four freaking years. And for the first time ever, I can relax. There was no good news delivered by Dr. Mark Galley as many counties slipped back in the fight against coronavirus. We will need to uh, eliminate uh, indoor dining. Uh, we will need to reduce capacity at gyms and movie theaters. Uh, we will be putting a pause on opening um, additional high school. Under what is being called the emergency break, counties are falling back multiple tiers at a time with 24 hours notice to close non-essential businesses. If testing is such a key element to stopping the spread, why aren't they easier to access? Hospitalizations have spiked across California by more than 81% over the last 14 days. You'd better pack enough for two weeks if you're flying into San Jose Mineta International Airport. The health department issued a mandatory directive on travel that not only discourages non-essential travel, but also requires people coming into town to quarantine for 14 days once they arrive. I don't know if you guys are aware of it, you know the curfew starts tonight at 10 o'clock, so you yes. got, we got to get going. It's a bit like March all over again. We are pursuant to the blueprint we put out some 14 or so weeks ago, uh, pulling that emergency break. With a new shelter in place order days away for four out of five state regions, bars, wineries, personal services, hair salons and barber shops must close again. Critical infrastructure will remain open along with schools with waivers, retail at 20% occupancy and restaurants can only serve meals via takeout and delivery. The push into a three week shelter in place order depends on ICU capacity regionally. Field hospitals are getting ready to be activated for a potential crush of post Thanksgiving COVID-19 patients. This is the third wave. We don't anticipate a fourth. Vaccines are on the way. Over 2.1 million doses of vaccine we anticipate to distribute by the end of this calendar month. With this shot in the arm, Dr. Antonio Gomez became the first person in the Bay Area to get Pfizer's COVID vaccine. This is an extraordinary day because we now are protecting those that have been protecting us. I look at 2021 as a year of hope. 